Hello, and welcome to Mrs. Law's class. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at continuous exponential growth and decay. Now, continuous growth or decay can be thought of from the compound interest formula. So if you take a look at the 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n that's part of the compound interest formula, when we think about n, remember that is the number of times and the money is compounded, if we start off with yearly and then go to semi-annually and monthly, and then even weekly and then daily, we will find that the amount of money that we get increases because we are compounding it more often. So what happens if n gets increasingly large? So let's say that n not only compounds, let's say every day, but let's say every hour, and then every minute, every second. So as n increases, this number approaches 2.718, 281, and on and on and on. So this is actually a special irrational number, and it is called E. And it is named after the famous Swiss uh, mathematician, Leonard Euler. So if you go to your calculator and type in E, so find E on your calculator, and go E to the power of 1, you will find that you will actually get that number, 2.718281. Eight two eight, and so on. More numbers that you cannot see. If you go e squared, you're going to get seven point three eight nine zero five six zero nine nine, and also it keeps going. So in any situation where continuous growth or decay is occurring, let's say at a rate of r percent per year, the amount a at the end of t years can now be given by this new formula. So it's a is equal to a naught times e, and then the exponent changes to r divided by 100 times t. So that's our exponent. So instead of using the formula that we used to use, which was a equals a naught times x to the power of n, we've now changed it um, to be a base of e, where e is that number 2.718. Now don't use the number 2.718, actually use the number that's built into your calculator. Now in some textbooks or uh, websites, you will often see that r divided by 100 is reduced to k, so the formula then becomes a equals a naught times e to the kt. Okay, so A is the final amount. A naught is the initial amount. E is a constant number, okay, equal to 2.718, 281, so on and so on. K is called the proportional constant. Now it's important to note that if we have a growth, let's say at 5%, then our k value is going to equal 0 0.05. Now if we have a decay at 5%, then our k value is going to be negative. 0 0.05. So remember to write down the negative when we say that um, in the equation that we are decaying. All right, and then the last thing, t is our time. So let's take a look at an example. So in 2000, the population of Toronto was 4 million. So if the population is growing continuously, and this is how you know, so whenever you see this word continuously in the problem, uh, you know you're going to use this formula with E, okay, so it's growing continuously at a rate of 1.2% per year, and T is the time in years since 2000, determine the population in 2010. All right, so we're going to use the formula A equals A naught times E to the power of KT, okay. So we want to know the final population. So our beginning population is 4 million 
times e to the power of k. Now k here is 1.2%, so we're going to put in 0 0.012 times 10. So the 10 is from the fact that it's from 2010, sorry, 2000 to 2010. Now we're going to assume that it's from the beginning of 2000 to the beginning of 2010. So that actually will be 10 years. Okay, so we just type all of this into our calculator. So when we type all of this in, we're going to get 4,509,987.41. All right, the next thing we're going to take a look at is something called the natural logarithm. Okay, and this is to change um, y equals e to the power of x. So there's a special way to write this if we wanted um, to write it into a log form. So if you wanted to write this in log form, this would be log with the base of e, okay? And then we have y, and then that equals x. Now instead of writing this, we have a special way to write log with the base e, and that is ln. Now this might be confusing because it looks like in, so sometimes you might see it a little bit fancier with a fancy l, n, y, equals x. So the ln is called the natural logarithm. Some people just call it ln just because they don't want to say natural logarithm and I guess l and n is ln. Um, so just as we know that log 10 is 1, log e with a base of e is 1 and then the natural log of e equals 1. Okay, so all the laws uh, for the logarithms that we already know also apply to the natural logarithm. So let's take a look at some examples. All right, so the first one here we have 45 is equal to e to the power of 0 0.075x. So because the base is e, instead of taking the log of both signs, we're going to take the natural log of both signs. So we're going to write ln 45 equals ln or natural log e 0.075x so remember that we don't calculate anything until the very very end so don't type in to your calculator yet we're going to use our power law to move the exponent which is 0.075x to the front and this is times the natural log of e Okay, so remember that the natural log of e, this part here, is all equal to 1. Okay, so to find x, we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.075. So we get ln 45 divided by 0 0.075. Now you can take your calculator out and x is equal to 50.755. All right, let's try the next one. So again, we see a base of e, so we're gonna take the natural log of both sides, bring the exponent down. Now don't forget that when we do that, because it's a binomial, you need to write this in brackets, just for clarification that we know it's um, a binomial. Ln e is one. So we're gonna move the negative x over here. So we get positive x equals one minus the natural log of 7, and type this into your calculator, and you get negative 0 0.946. All right, let's take a look at a couple of word problems. All right, so this first one, it says, find the time needed for money to triple at 8% compounded continuously. All right, so we know that we're going to use the formula A equals A naught times E to the KT. Okay, so it says to find the amount of money for it to triple. Okay, so because it's tripling, it doesn't really matter how much we start off with. So we know we have one, and then we now have, let's say, $3. Okay, um, this is going to be times E. Now it says 8% compounded continuously, and that's how we actually know that we're going to use the formula with E, because again, of the word continuously. So our k is going to be 0 0.08, and we want to know the amount of time, so that's t. Okay. 
So we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Okay, and we're getting used to this. So let's move the exponent to the front right away. So 0 0.08t times the natural log of e. Even though we know it's 1, I would still like you to write that down just so that we've done the natural log of both sides. Okay, so then we have t equals the natural log of 3 divided by 0 0.08. Type this into your calculator and you get 13.733, and that is going to be in years. Now, I know this is assuming us, that 8% is compounded continuously, and that's 8% uh, per annum. So we're assuming that that interest rate is per year. All right, let's take a look at the second problem. So remember that when continuous exponential decrease or decay is occurring, uh, we need to reflect this with a negative exponent. So uh, the main ingredient of mothballs is naphthalene, which is a white hydrocarbon made from coal tar. It's probably why it's so stinky. Um, so because of its low boiling point, this chemical evaporates in air quite readily. So the volume V of T of a mothball after T weeks is given by V of T equals V naught, times e to the power of negative 0.35t, where v0 is the initial volume. Uh, find how long it will take for the mothball to reduce to a quarter of its original volume. All right, so we don't know what the size of it is right now, but we know that it's going to be a quarter of what it was initially. So we're going to write quarter v0 is the final volume equals to v0 times e to the power of negative 0.35 t. All right, so the v naughts when we can divide, so that will disappear. So I'm going to just rewrite this as 0 0.25. Just clean up the equation. Equals e to the negative 0 0.35t. Let's take the natural log of both sides. You can leave this as a quarter if you like, actually. I don't know why I switched it. So negative 0 0.35t times ln e. And so remember this part becomes one. So t equals the natural log of a quarter divided by negative 0 0.35. And then typing all of this into your calculator, we get 3.961. And that will be in weeks because it says after t weeks here. And that's how you solve equations, sorry, questions that involve um, E and also natural logarithms.